So we have a line of thunderstorms rolling in from the Gulf of Mexico. This was a this is a line that uh, could go severe, so there's a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. We're under a severe thunderstorm watch here in St. Petersburg, uh, in Tampa Bay. We're just south of Tampa. Uh, let's see. We're gonna get lots of lightning with this as this line comes through, and there's also some strong gusty winds. So as those gusty winds come through, I'm gonna have to hold the camera tightly. Uh, lots of rain. Rain's not here yet, but it'll get here. It's going to be heavy rain, wind, and uh, lots of lightning and thunder. All right. Okay, good. I actually show up in this thing. I forgot, to I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Naveen Singh, Tampa Bay Storm Chaser. On YouTube, Tampa Bay Storm Chaser. Watch, like, subscribe, whatever makes you happy. And here comes the rain. Perfect timing. <laughs> I'm trying to get some good photos of the lightning. Hey, you know what this means? It's time to dance in the rain. How you doing? Good. Good.
I'm just trying to get some pictures of the lightning. The so, pictures of lightning. Yeah, I had it filming in that direction. I jumped in front of it and I was dancing in front of it. Just, uh, yeah, for YouTube. Okay, I hear you. Well, Storm, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Reggie. Naveen, it's good to meet Naveen, you, Reggie. Naveen, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm out here just like, I love the weather and uh, I was out here. Hurricane Irvine, I had all this gear on. Okay. That was pretty crazy. You got your that. dance moves down. Yeah, this is just like, it's just something to pass the time while I'm waiting for the, uh, the, rain, the heavy storm to come in and then like, you know, you have these people driving by and they see somebody dancing in the rain storm and they're like, oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, you get you getting attention now. Oh yeah, yeah. You like that? Yeah, no, I just like I just want to make people laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like spread positive energy. How about you? I like positive energy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. There's, there's a couple. Of, there's a there's a car that rolled in. And they were looking at me all funny. And I was like, that's great. So, like, I gotta get this person. Who do you live in this area? Yeah, I live up there about a few miles that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's Acro Yoga every Sunday out here. If you like come, come out every Sunday. Acro Yoga, um, all ages, all like really open group of people, really open minded. Um, you don't have to have any experience in yoga. You can just start doing acrobatic yoga. It's pretty fun. Okay. Yeah, it's like definitely it's every Sunday from 3 p.m. onwards to like 7 or 8 invite you out to it should have a do you go good time yep okay yeah i'll try it out i thought i recognized that guy that's why i was looking around i was looking over there but like, he looked familiar but like some some guy saw him some guy saw him you having a good night i'm having a real good night getting my stuff in getting my exercise in yeah man All right, enjoy. All right, you have a good night, Reggie, right? Uh, yeah, no Take care, Reggie. Yes, I'm getting some good lightning on this. Right. Take care, Reggie. You be safe. Watch out for that lightning. Yeah, that lightning is definitely cranking up. The camera's all soaked. Uh, we're getting more lightning. Um, the area of the strong winds and lightning and heaviest rain uh, was over St. Petersburg Beach and is crossing over Pinellas County and will be reaching us very soon. So then about 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how the line snakes itself. We'll get some interesting weather, heavy rain and gusty winds and lightning. And we are under a severe thunderstorm watch, so there's that too. That was a much closer lightning strike, but it was to the south of us and we're facing west. So the actual bolt of lightning was not caught in the camera. That's okay, there'll be more that we'll catch. Here come some winds. See the area of gusty winds coming out of the west um, with these thunderstorms. The only thing you gotta worry about is the water.
especially if I steepen the angle a little bit. I'll have less issues with water. So at nighttime, when the clouds look that whiter color, that brighter white color, that's the city lights of downtown St. Pete reflecting off the bottoms of the thicker clouds. So the brighter white color you get, the thicker those clouds are. So you see that brighter white color, that's when you know you're gonna get a really, uh, you're gonna get some thick, heavy clouds that are gonna be some storm producers. Sometimes if the structure and light and lighting is correct, uh, you could actually make out shelf clouds at night. That's rare, but no, I take that back. That's not rare. You can actually, you can make out shelf clouds with the correct angle of the light. I'm not a photographer or videographer. This is my thing is just experiencing the storm. Have this conversation while we're waiting on it to roll in. That very thick white, that bright white coming in, that's that, the base of those thick clouds. So I think it's, it's creeping ever closer that it's illustrating a squall line. So you have a squall line going north, running north, south. And these thick clouds are the base of those clouds that make up the thunderstorms along the squall. Squall line is a line that gives you heavy rain and wind. You can get snow squalls too, so heavy snow and wind, but being in central Florida, we don't deal with snow squalls. This is a slow moving squall line, actually really slow moving squall line. So it's taken a whole day to get here. It's, it's moved over St. Petersburg beach and it's made it way east, made it its way east into central Pinellas County. We are in Eastern Pinellas County. Pinellas County is the county that contains the city of St. Petersburg, which is just south of the city of Tampa. So once this squall line starts moving, we'll get some good video.
little bit of a subtle wind shift. So now not just coming out of the southwest, instead of coming out of the south and southwest, coming a little bit more westerly. So that means that that squall line is getting closer because the winds along it are coming out of the west more so than the south. And there's, I don't know if you saw, there's a few folks driving around recklessly, but, you know, it's a Friday night and people tend to do that in these parking lots and on these less trafficked lo roads out here. Looks like our squall line has arrived. Some, well, lots of heavy rain and looks like some gusty winds trying to work, it, work its way in. coming out of the south again, so there's probably some heavy rain that's south of us. The heavy rain is putting out an outflow boundary, bringing in the wind from the south.
that was likely a cell that formed out ahead of the squall and brought some pretty heavy rain. The heavier part of the squall is just west of us and getting ready to come in. Taking a sweet time. See this big brightening of the clouds at the uh, base. You can see that the thicker, taller clouds, the darker, heavier bases just uh, coming onto the, the horizon to our west. You get these outflows from these squalls, and this is where the usually the strongest wind is. So we should, as this comes in, we're going to see some quite a bit of wind. Well, if my calculations are correct, we'll see quite a bit of wind. Whether we do or not remains to be seen. And just like that, I hear wind. <laughs> 